Hello and welcome to the Nintendo Pipeline Podcast. I'm your host, Jared, also known as One Up Muffin on the Discord. Um, we'll go around and introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm CMM. You can call me Clay, or another word that I can't say on the podcast. And you, and I'm Mina. Um, so you know, name and username. Whoa. And we have a special guest with us today. Uh, introduce yourself. Let us know what you would be called in the podcast. What's up? Um, <laughs> I'm Drago, or Jonathan, either or, whichever you prefer. That's me. Jonego. Okay. Don't do awesome. Not that. <laughs> not that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so with E3 just around the corner. Um, it's X number of weeks from now, determining, uh, depending on when you're listening to this podcast. But we thought we would spend this time to discuss some of our predictions for the show. Obviously, there's some, there's some likely things, there's some unlikely things, there's some hopes, there's some dreams. So let's just start, go around, talk about what do we think is going to be there. All right. My favorite time of year. Like, I'm so excited. Just yeah, I love E3. Talk, I'm just yeah. so... I, like, I get it. E3, blah, blah, blah. It's not what you see. No, to me it is, you know? Yeah. I am excited, all right? Yeah, I feel I'm, it. I'm ready to be excited about video games. I'm ready for a ton of events. I'm ready for Nintendo to give us 45 minutes of something Nothing. cool. 45 at all. minutes of Smash Bros. 45, 45 minutes of Smash Brothers. 35 minutes of Breath of the Wild 2 and 10 minutes of Mario Party whatever. I would be fine with that. If you I know, if I'll I get it. any Breath of the Wild, <laughs> let's let's start there. That's the biggest. That's the elephant yeah. in the room. Yep. I uh, there's like there's like no way it can't be there, right? Yeah. No, Probably like, not. I there's no way in hell Breath of the Wild 2 is not here. Like I think this is the thing that we everyone collectively expects or at least should expect. Yeah. Um, we, I'll say they this, said already. Um, We're gonna hear more about it this year. If it, if it's not here, they're gonna say it before the show. I am yeah, a hundred percent positive. Oh yeah. If, if it's yeah. not there, they will be like, "This will be about uh <laughs> everything else." <laughs> yeah. Previously um, announced games, excluding please, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, please too. do not expect Breath of the Wild there. Yeah, honestly. Uh, no, but no, I think, if they I, did that, they would they would get so much shit. But, but I think that's right, though. If it's not there, they will they will yeah. set the expectation. Mm-hmm. They would do. They've done that before. I think they did it before for Breath of the Wild 1. Yeah, 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 they did. Uh, E3 2015, they went in saying, please do not expect news on Zelda on Wii U or the NX, <laughs> right? And then, uh, and then everyone said, mm-hmm. where's Zelda? <laughs> that's it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 2015, was, was, was a, that was a special year. That was, uh, <laughs> you know... <laughs> I, uh, the E3, the one E three really had to warn everybody. They're like, please, it's gonna be all about Smash. Don't expect other stuff. Uh, please enjoy. I uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I expect Breath of the Wild two to be there. I'm guessing we'll see a, a blowout of information, and I guess we'll finally find out the answer of if it's 2021 or not. What do you want yeah. from it? I have no idea. I... Honestly, I want. I, I will, if I can ask for one thing. Really, this, I'm not even asking for. It. I just want something that I'm not even expecting, that I yeah. can't even predict. Yeah, I want to um, be surprised, like I was with Breath of the Wild. But I, right, and I'm worried some of that surprise is already gone when you use the when you reuse the same map. Right, but I think this is like when I think of Breath of the Wild too. I think, you know, like because Majora's Mask was a quick was like a quickie, right? It was kind of like in the same situation. Yeah. I think, right, where right. it's like, oh, we've got this engine, we've got like. We can just make another. Let's let's just go right into it. Yeah, it, but, it was supposed to be a quickie. I guess we can say. <laughs> yeah, it ended up and it's like I don't. One, but... Right, like I don't know if this started life as like a quickie thing because I think I think he, the best comparison was like Galaxy Two, right? Yeah. I don't know yeah. if they I don't know if they said that themselves, but I think it was kind of the same thing where it's like, oh, we've got all these extra ideas we couldn't even touch, so we just said let's just make another game. But here we are. This game has, I mean, by the time it's out, it's going to have just about the full development cycle in terms of time taken to make the game um yeah this is zelda time right this is yeah. like a full zelda game cycle right here Fine, like which, if it comes which makes me think like four years holiday. they gotta right. do a lot to that map they gotta yeah. 
They got to yeah. add a lot of stuff to it. I'm not reading I th- I think... too much into the whole like oh we're yeah. reusing the same map mm-hmm. thing. Right. Um, like I feel I feel, I feel like because like I, I don't know I haven't really watched the trailer too much since it premiered. I was like oh okay. Yeah, Sam. I didn't watch it again. Um, I don't I don't remember much like a world. It was really just oh Ganon's back again, or something. and there was a and there was a cave. So, so yeah. we saw the, the closing shot of it. like it's the same Hyrule, right? But then we see the castle like start taking off, right? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. uh, so so it was the same world, but we like we don't know the extent of that. Like, how much things have changed? They could be some complete bullshit. Maybe there's a whole underground. Yeah. I don't know. See, that's you what know? I'm I definitely um, expect like underground I'm, stuff. I'm hoping to for be an right underworld thing. that kind of like. Hope, I hope for more structures too. Yeah. I, I think now that I'm thinking about it too, it's like I I because I feel like Breath of the Wild was such like honestly to me it was like very standalone. Mm-hmm. Like it's not really the kind of thing I think you can just do a sequel and have it be like kind of the same structure, the same thing. Yeah, I don't know if. I don't know if it's gonna be like you know more of a focus on story, maybe more of a focus on dungeons. I certainly wouldn't complain if there is more of a dungeon focus. Um, I don't know about a story focus. I mean, I don't know. Breath of the Wild is such a unique thing yeah. that to just do another. It's like in my head, I can only really imagine it being more of the same. But I know it's not going to be. They've taken a long time with it, and it's the zelda team it's nintendo like even if it's the same thing like i mean again to go from like galaxy one to two like yeah it's the same thing same engine but it's like just a completely different set of ideas and concepts that they just run with yeah um yeah i like i would love i say like i wouldn't want like a more sequel where it's just like more stuff but like for me breath of the wild was like almost the perfect video game so even if breath of the wild 2 like perfects all the small things i didn't that like i had problems with in the first one Mm -hmm. i would love that but also like i wouldn't be as surprised right i uh... like that's what i want going in right is i just want because i think that was part of why i love breath of the wild so much is because i did not know what to expect going in and it just blew me away right um and that's kind of what I want from the sequel. And I don't know how a sequel can do that, but I, I, you know, maybe I just have blind faith in them. But I, I really do think, like, like, like Draco said, like, I don't know, like, I'm, I feel like they would not be happy with just an iterative sequel, you know? I, mm-hmm. I, 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 and I have to imagine, like, Anuma specifically, like, he's been taken aback by the reception Breath of the Wild got, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I think part of that is like him realizing oh like us deciding to upend what people expected out of a zelda game worked out really well (laughs) and so i think that should kind of signal to him that hey like you don't have to like no even if something worked in breath of the wild you can toss it away (laughs) you know um you can do whatever you want because you know i i think that's what people liked about breath of the wild is is just this this idea of just upending everything and here's just a completely brand new experience and i don't, mm-hmm. I don't know how drag sequel is going to do that but I, I i i have faith that at least it will not just be yeah. breath of all the I guess, dungeons i guess yeah. you know my hope is a majora's yeah. mask style sequel instead of a galaxy 2 style sequel but i will love it either I, way uh, and it's nintendo so I, yeah like i feel i feel like it's going to be closer to something majora's mask like i feel like maybe it started life as just kind of like a you know a more direct sequel i don't know and i mean it's hard to tell because we know literally nothing all we know is that the game exists and they've just been working away at it for the last couple years um which is part of why it's like i i don't know what to expect at all i don't even know what to predict to the point where it's like i'm not i don't even really i i I care (laughs) but i don't care enough to like think about it and predict and guess for if i have the choice between getting a trailer tomorrow and learning about the whole game or getting the game out in a month and just playing it without seeing anything like i would want to go in without seeing anything about it if i could yeah like at this point yeah. i mean yeah it's like i've got nothing but faith in them really and it's like even if the game is like weird and different and not great i think you know it'd probably still be interesting in its own way you know <laughs> for me not that oh, i think yeah. it's gonna be like, bad but i know for me i, I mean that like so one thing I would definitely would be interested in seeing is that underground because some a big theme of uh, Zelda One is that there's the overworld and there's the underworld and 
you know, obviously in Breath of the Wild, which is basically 3D Zelda 1, um, there's kind of just a giant overworld, which is fine. Um, I'd like to see, like, an underworld aspect. My main concern, honestly, for, for the sequel is I don't want to see something that's a major left turn. Um... It's oh, clear yeah. <laughs> that people really enjoyed the first one. Um, mm -hmm. I'm definitely okay if the second one is closer to closer to a Galaxy Two esque sequel than like you know Castlevania One to Castlevania Two. Like, like, <laughs> like, sure, yeah. like yeah. I, I, I'm worried about. Um, I don't really think they need to inject something that may be completely out of pace. I think there's still plenty of stuff they can do that they didn't in the first one that still follows the same course, if that makes sense, and would still oh, yeah. be um, still be very interesting and, and fun. I just don't... I, my, my biggest fear is it going a bit too far away from what the first game was when people are very hungry for, you know, yeah. more of that kind of game. I, I get I that. that. I feel like the second one play. has to have like people love the open endedness and i think that'll still be here yeah like, like i wouldn't open... want to see like a a sudden shift to like all right no, guys like we're back to dungeon structured. items and doing them in order and stuff again i think that oh, would be oh i definitely like, don't no. think we're yeah. doing we're definitely no. not doing linear structure yeah like yeah. whatever I, it is that's the one thing i'm sure it's going to be super yeah, I, yeah. So. I do think if like the dungeons came back and items came back it'd be more like a link between worlds where it was kind of like do it in whatever order you want yeah you know um Probably not with the same, like, rental system. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the rental but... system. <laughs> I mean, I wonder. Um, I actually had this idea of a way you could do dungeons. Um, what, uh, like, what if, like, in a way that could bring back, like, the item structure from previous games? Was, like, what if just for that dungeon you got a fucking, like, um, like a temporary power-up for your Sheikah Slate, you know? Or right. not, it doesn't have to be temporary. You keep it after you beat it. Or whatever, mm -hmm. but like, like um, every time you enter a place, like you get a a new like kind of power up your Sheikah Slate, yeah, new mm -hmm. ability, new whatever, right? And then they could base, and then they could do a whole dungeon around that idea, right? And um, then you can maybe like bring it back into the overworld, right? And it's like there's yeah. going to be optional things that you know if you don't have it, I mean, it's not going to stop you from playing the game, but if mm -hmm. you do, yeah, it won't stop yeah. you from doing other things, right? You could still go to the dungeons in any order, but it'll let you do new stuff with the overworld, right? Pretty yeah. Cool. I, I, I think that would be a decent way to go about it. I mean, the Sheikah Slate lets you just, you could literally down, Link could download a new fucking uh, <laughs> uh, app uh, that gives him a new power-up, and it, it, it would work, you know? Mm -hmm. I uh, Yeah, and I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think as far as, like, dungeons go, even more than anything is, like, I think just, like, aesthetically, I hope that they're a bit more creative and uh, yes. not just... Uh, the, the fact that the the shrines all look the same, and then more so the four dungeons looked exactly yeah, there, the there same. There was a lot of repetition. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, I really I really like the idea and how they played with like, oh, these are like a life size dungeons. Like you see it, and then you go in it, and it's you know it's consistent, and then you yeah. like kind of alter like their state and like their you know positioning and all that. But you know that like now that we're like you know a few years removed from the game, it's like I don't really remember most of them. Uh -huh. like, they were the weakest together, part right? of the game for me. Yeah, and like the bosses too. It's like Ganon Blob, like one, two, three, and four, and yeah. five. Oh, I want more unique bosses. That's for sure. Yeah. Like, more unique yeah. bosses, more enemies. I, I I think really like if if I that's my main hope really is like because Breath of the Wild one felt very much kind of like a blank slate game in a lot of ways, which isn't a bad thing. I think it was a good thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but it gives them a lot of room, I think, to grow and to yeah. just try new things you know now that they know that you know it works how much further can you take it yeah um, and, and that's really i think the main thing i'm hoping for and i've i've got no like pre-existing kind of idea of what i want it to be i'm really just like all right i'm gonna see the game and uh we'll see how it is <laughs> well i guess to tie it back together though D uh, how do they prove that in in at E three? I guess right. Like, does is a trailer good enough for that, or is it, are these things that like we need to see the game for, or like can can E well, three be enough to like prove Breath of the Wild's like how like it being its own thing? I guess if if they do I, a trailer like the second Breath of the Wild trailer, 
like that quality, like that sold me on the game. That trailer sold that me more than any. <laughs> what? <laughs> you said that was a lie? <laughs> no, that was a lie! Of course it was! You the trailer? It made the game seem like a lot of things that it wasn't. Oh, that but sold that, me on That's a whole that... other topic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know I... about just a trailer. I think they would maybe show some in-depth gameplay, but if they focused on the it obviously would, I think it would benefit them if they focused on the new elements and then yeah. you know a reassurance that like hey you know this is still Breath of the Wild 2 for anyone who's like scared or something I don't know you know how people get yeah. Link comes yeah. on screen pulls out a hook shot $60 <laughs> pre-order I'm in <laughs> well here's yeah, a question I think... does Treehouse come back? Do we well, can, like definitely. so can we see a demo of, of... I hope uh, so. This game. I really I hope so. so. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say, and it's like I don't see why not. Yeah. I mean, they've done like they've done like at home tree houses before, and there's really no reason not to do it, especially for something like Breath of the Wild. Like I feel like what they would do is probably like a big trailer, kind of like give you like those like um, I I don't know what you'd call them, but like kind of like those like snippets of like what the heck is this? Is that gameplay? Is this like some new idea? Like what does that do? Oh my god, yeah. what is this? Yeah. And then. You know, after after the show, you go into like the hour long treehouse segment Hell or whatever. Yeah, I could and see then, them doing one of those like five minute like Onuma describes like the new uh, elements. Did I say his name right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, like like a, a little segment after like the trailer, like the hype trailer, and then like he explains the new things for like five minutes, and then they're like, okay, you'll see gameplay later. Mm-hmm. So does this open or close the direct or somewhere in the middle? Ooh. Wouldn't it be funny if it I was it... if it opened and closed? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Sony did that with Days Gone. Yeah. I think I think opening is the oh, way they to do did, it. Right. <laughs> ah, well, I feel like Nintendo. The only time they ever really open and close with the same thing is Smash the Brothers. Smash. Yeah. Um, before we get into Smash, I guess. Uh, as far I mean, that's our like... opener and closer, though, right? In my opinion, like it's Smash and Breath of the Wild, if it, right? Yeah. If if yeah, I think that just depends on if they announce both of the final characters in one go or not, which mm-hmm. I I don't know. Yeah. One of them for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um it's a tough one because I mean I guess it just depends on I, I, I feel like this is different from like the last D three because these are the last two. And yeah. you know, not that I expect the last character is going to be something super crazy special because it never is. Yeah, but never they might. They, it never is, <laughs> but they might want to at least like have like a its own showcase event. Here's the character for surprise. Here's the gameplay, and then kind of go on the whole like, wow, the, we sure did a lot in this Smash Ultimate game, didn't we? Kind of show, you know? Right. Yeah, um, yeah, that makes sense. That I honestly I buy that like entire like because do you remember the the way they did the last DLC for? Smash 4. They kind yeah. of did this, mm-hmm. like, fi- finale thing. So that would make yeah. sense to do that for a last character. So I, w- I would only do one character. Yeah. I'd probably open yeah. the show with Smash. I, like, these are guarantees, though, right? Like, Smash will be there, Breath of the Wild will be there. And I think it's a safe bet to say one of those is opening, one of those is closing. Right? Yeah. Like, I, think, I, I think Breath do, of the Wild I, I, I opens so. it. They do the think... gameplay. Smash, maybe... I, I might say Smash is right after that, and they do, like, a one more thing. It's, like, one of the new games that's rumored. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So that's probably part of me kind of thinks part of me thinks they might end with Breath of the Wild and then go straight kind of like what they did in 2016 yeah. they had the the Breath of the Wild trailer and then immediately you just go you know, straight one... into here's gameplay yeah, yeah. right like yeah. once it's like what did I just watch well here you go yeah we're gonna play the game honestly I though, though if it's like do you remember okay actually do you remember though the freaking Breath of the Wild 2016 E3 we saw a trailer <laughs> everyone was so excited because it looked amazing and then they bored us with an hour of Pokemon before they got to Zelda. Yeah, I remember that. I don't remember that. I yeah, completely so, so pushed that out of my mind. Those jerks, they, they made us... Like, and I like look, look, Sunny Moon is great. Don't get me wrong, right? But, like, that's not a good demo game. And especially after showing us that trailer, they did an hour of Pokemon. And the demo, wow. too, it was like... Here's how you catch a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I I tune out so hard during RPG presentations. Yeah, honestly. So knowing our luck, so what's gonna happen? 
they're gonna close the Breath of the Wild. Then they're gonna show us an hour of brilliant diamond shining pearl, <laughs> and then they'll get the Breath of the Wild gameplay. <laughs> yeah. You know uh, that makes me think. Do you think? I I I I think that you know Pokemon's gonna be D three. But do you think there's going to be like a Pokemon Presents before E3? Or do you think they're going to save trailers for those games until the main show? I'm going to say Presents before E3. That, that's typically what they do. Does the fact that they gave release dates play into that any? I like, know. Well, how, why did they give release dates? That could have been a great like E3 announcement. I mean, yeah, I thought it was so strange that they yeah. just dropped that on Twitter. Um, mm-hmm. and, and to me, that makes me think, I don't know if we're going to get a Pokemon Presents. Yeah. Honestly. I think we might just get trailers for both of these games. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. we see game, more well. gameplay I mean, of Legends. Oh, I think Legends is a guarantee for the E3 Direct. I, I really yeah. do. I, I, like, I don't know about Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. They might not think that's like a good game for E3. right? It could be a Treehouse thing. There after. might be like a tease. I, I don't know. There's, there's something weird about uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, just because they see like as far as we know right now, they are playing it so like it's faithfully. Diamond Pearl. It is Diamond and Pearl, right? Yeah, and it's weird. Like I was thinking about it again today because they, you know, they tweeted out the the box art, and it's like there's no new forms for these guys. <laughs> That's you know, and it's like yeah, it, from like I I kind of want to know more about those games just to like figure out is there anything new? Is there yeah. something to um, them? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't think... Like, I, I feel like Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is not a kind of game that you want to show at E3. You know? I think that that is a... I, I, I think the only way we see it is it's a quick trailer that leads straight into Legends. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, like, if they and if they do do Treehouse, I think we'll see the Pokemon. Both of them. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Right. I think we definitely see the, the remake at Treehouse for, like, Extended. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes I mean, sense. I remember... Like Sword and Shield, they had their big uh, wild area presentation at that E3 too. Right, and I feel like oh, Legends. Yeah. I mean, Legends is like Legends yeah, is I, super major. So I'd be genuinely surprised if we didn't at least get like a segment about it. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think, especially knowing that it's coming in January, like it's not yeah. that far off. Right? It's not like yeah. So it's like we're. I think we will see Legends like for sure. Mm-hmm. Um. Both in the direct, and if there's a treehouse, like they'll do a treehouse segment on Legends, like without a doubt. There's a. Do you think we? S- there's something right, that I would really like to see at E3 that is not Pokemon or Zelda or Smash. Oh. And and that <laughs> is that is my my dearly beloved Metroid Five question mark. <laughs> that I mean, okay, look, Emily's saying we're going to see Metroid. Not at E3 necessarily, but it's coming out this year. She said she said it's coming out this year. I see no reason to doubt her. Yeah. You know, like yeah, like Jeff I Grubb think also said, Metroid, quote, "Metroid Prime 2D," but I think the uh, Prime was accidental. Say that again. I said Jeff Grubb said Metro. He thinks Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 2D will be it. Oh, <laughs> I think that was a. I think that was just a flub. Uh, I think I think that was. I, a, I think, think that was a. Yeah. Yeah. That'd I don't think it's out. Prime. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like. I think we'll see Metroid, and I don't think it's a remake. Like, there's no. a lot of like, oh, will it be a future? No. Yep. No, know, but yep. not... please don't be a remake. If okay, I, remake. look, if the next 2D Metroid is a remake, they are creatively bankrupt. Like, like I'm sorry, like yeah. they do not know what to do with Metroid. Clearly, then if, you know, yeah. if the next 2D Metroid is a remake of Super Metroid, I think I'll just like die because that is the least. <laughs> that is the game that needs least to be remade in the entire universe. They just don't need it. Hey, play Super Metroid on your Switch right now. Yeah. Put it up right now. Yeah. You know, if you want to play it that badly. I, I very yeah. much finally. I very much want my 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 Fusion sequel. That's that's. I think I, I really think it will be. Maybe yeah. I'm optimistic. I don't know, but, but I, like, it's been four years. I think it'll be a new game. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Even if it, even if it's not necessarily like a Fusion sequel, I hope and I think it will be a new game. Yeah. They just did a remake. Yeah. I feel pretty. It, it's been long I enough. Mean, it's been know. four years since Samus Returns. You yeah. Know? And I, so I don't mean this exactly in that like so I'm gonna use a comparison, but you know the glow up that we saw from A Link Between Worlds to Link's Awakening, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Now I don't want Metroid to look cutesy like Link's Awakening, but if mm-hmm. if if from Samus Returns to the next Metroid we get a glow up like graphically like that, yeah. I think that would be really nice. I mean, I think you know? oh, yeah, I yeah. think that I I don't want to say that goes without saying, but like I do I do think that. It'll be pretty. Like I, I, I don't expect to be disappointed in that regard personally. 
Yeah, I think I think a two D Metroid, like a two point five D Metroid, could look absolutely fantastic on the Switch. Yeah, I mean, I thought Samus Returns still looked very good, especially considering mm-hmm. that it was running on three D. Oh, for sure. So it looked really it, nice. It, it looked great it for the PS game, but like, I I want like, I want a big like upgrade though, you know, because yeah. the Switch mm-hmm. is just so much more powerful, right? Yeah. And it's a two D Metroid that you're selling for sixty bucks, presumably. I think that's a safe bet, uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um. I want it to look pretty. I want it to look nice. Give me, give me, give, making me feel like I'm paying uh, for sixty bucks worth. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, the, as the far price as... conversation is always fraught, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, as far as Metro goes, it's like as long as it's a new game and not a remake. That's that's all I ask for. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Like, yeah. I would be really happy for the that. love of God. I'd, I'd be super happy if it was a fusion <sighs> sequel, but so long as it's a new game, then I will be happy. So we were talking about Emily, though, with Metroid. She did float the idea that it may not... She said that this was speculation, but she did say, like, remember that Nintendo sometimes will just announce a game and release it the next month, so we may not even see it at E3. Do you think that's a... If it's coming out this year, do you think it's going to be at E3 or not? Yeah. I think think so. I don't don't think think Metroid is the kind of game that you announce a month before it releases and then no, it it does not have that hype attached to it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel yeah. like, well, yeah, I, I feel like Nintendo. Not always. They don't always know that they're their E three audience. But I, f- I feel like when it comes to Metroid, at least they they know like who's looking for that game and oh, yeah. that. Yeah, like you know that's prime time for ah uh, for um like a Metroid <laughs> like being shown. Right. Like it, you're not going to just be like, okay, Metroid's out next month. Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's the kind of game where it's like they would announce it later, and then everyone would just be like, well, I didn't. They just announced it at E three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same thing with, um, I guess the Switch Pro if that ends up being a thing, and it's uh, eight thirteen p.m. and they didn't announce one, so yeah. <laughs> not today. Missed, oh man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see the Pro being an E three announcement. By the way, like completely no. serious. No. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, at all. Well, so but I, I agree, but okay. So we clearly know it's coming. Soon, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is right. Like by end of June, I would say, right? Yeah. Um. I, right. I, I wouldn't be it? surprised if we see a Breath of the Wild two gameplay, and we say, "Hmm, could that run? Could this not be running on a Switch?" Right. right. Yeah. And I think maybe, that just depends. On... Maybe they don't say the word Switch two, like Switch Pro, but like we see the gameplay, and we're like, "That's a little bit too." Well, sure. you would be dishonest about it because remember, Breath of the Wild one. Despite knowing that it was coming to NX, they happily showed the Wii U version, mm-hmm. uh, like the Mad Men that they are. Uh, but they're like the same versions. They're not, there's not much difference. Yeah, there. I know, but um, still, I I don't like I I don't see Nintendo as a company that would like sneakily show you sne- Switch Pro footage uh, before they announce it. You know, mm-hmm. I think if we see Switch Pro footage of Breath of the Wild 2, it's because they announced the Switch Pro already. It's kind yeah. of where I'm at with that. They would make I, I really don't see them People keep doing, saying, uh, like, the Switch Pro uh, announcement will come, like, at or right near the Breath of the Wild 2 one. Like, those... People think, like, those announcements are going to be, like, intertwined. I, I do think that... I don't know about the announcement, but I do believe that the release date of both mm-hmm. are intertwined. In terms of a hardware announcement, I don't see them announcing a yeah. revision any more any greater than three months before it launches at the mm-hmm. most um yeah but we I know mean, one is imminent we know yeah, like yeah. one is imminent yeah so like I, I really feel like in the next what six weeks let's say right next two weeks i guess if, if it's going to be like before if, e3 yeah but but, but it would look weird to do it either before or right at, either after it's even baffling, more baffling it is well, I, I, it makes me think back to the 3DS XL. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Good old 2012, they had, like, the whole 3DS, like, separate conference. <laughs> yeah. And they did not talk about a revision at all. And then no. two weeks later, we got a Direct that was like, oh, look at this. We got a 3DS XL. In fact, at that E3, <laughs> Miyamoto was like, we think the 3DS hardware is perfect and doesn't need changes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then two yeah. weeks later. <laughs> Little did he uh, know. Yeah, I... So, if, for example, let's let's just say, like, say Breath of the Wild is 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 going to hit November. I would expect a revision announcement no sooner than September. Like, that's my mm-hmm. personal thought on the matter. Um, that's what I thought, but this whole 
this whole Emily message is really just throwing everything for a loop, you know? Yeah. It's just, all my priors are being re-examined right now. I, because I, I just don't I see it. I was not expecting to see it until September, to be honest with you. I really did not think that, like, I was, like, in my head, the way the Switch Pro was going to go was it was going to come out in, like, October, and we were going to see it in September. I just, you know? I just don't see it being announced too soon as to, like, affect the, uh, you know, to affect hardware sales Switch leading sales. up to it. Yeah. Right. Like, if, But then, what if, see, but let me turn it around, what if, if it is being announced soon, what if that's an indication it's not a replacement at all, right? It is, it is very much, it's, like, not its own thing, but, like, uh, targeting a different person that then... And what I mean by that, a higher price point, right? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. five hundred like, bucks, like I, I, three ninety nine yeah. or three two three forty nine or whatever. Um, but like, uh, it could be an indication that hey, like, they don't see this as like cannibalizing the Switch. This is it, its own line, much like the Switch Lite, right? The Switch Lite didn't cannibalize the Switch. It was an addition no. to the family. Yeah. yeah. Right? Can you imagine if if they do the Switch Pro and like the normal Switch still just stays at two ninety nine forever <laughs> again? <laughs> Just keep on going without a single price drop ever. But like that sounds kind of likely, right? I, I, I think if the Switch Pro is like a, is if it's a four hundred dollar machine, then yeah, you get your two hundred light, your three hundred base, and then your four hundred Pro. I could, people are like, still gonna buy them. I could. That's like, like an like iPhone I'm line thing. That this comes with price drops for the whole family, but I don't think I don't know if it will. I really don't. I don't know if I can say confidently. That yeah, I guess there's no reason to price drop. People are still buying it so much. Why, why bother? Yeah. I mean, here's, right. here's the thing. We, we talked about sales recently, right? Mm-hmm. The Switch is doing better this year than it was last year. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, there's something... I, see, like, Switch Lite, right, is not... To me, is it's 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 more of a, a, a different form factor and complements... The original model very well, whereas the Pro is obviously going to be geared to enthusiasts in the beginning, but um, is you know would be a machine that you would potentially opt to buy instead of um, one of the other models on the market. So I honestly don't really know. It could kind of go either way, I guess. Yeah, I think. This just hit me. I think best case scenario would be like maybe like maybe we get price drops to like two fifty for the switch, one fifty for the light, and then the pro is like three fifty. So it's still like a hundred between each one, but I could see that. You at least drop down the price of the base ones a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And it you know, it sense. prevents a switch pro at four hundred, like it it would sell. I don't know. Something about a four hundred dollar <laughs> switch feels like it's a lot, but it feels ludicrous. And yet, at the same time, I I mean, to be fair, I also thought five hundred dollar like PlayStations and Xboxes was ludicrous, and that doesn't matter. Yeah, you know? yeah. People don't care. So I think I think if if people are willing to spend five hundred on an Xbox or PlayStation, four hundred yeah. for a Switch would be like it's still, still be cheaper an easy than sell for a lot of people, right? And it's yeah. still like. I mean, I, and like we went through this whole rigmarole when the Switch originally came out, right? Yeah. Well, oh, is three hundred like considered too much for what it is? And the answer was a resounding no. <laughs> right? Yeah. I just, I just think um, at four hundred, you just have to prove yourself visually. They just have to show it with like, oh, here's, here's like, three big games from the other platforms. Like, okay, these are running well on the Switch now. I, the nice thing about the Switch Pro being a. Uh, more premium product. A, it could get us a machine that would not be feasible at two ninety nine. That would be right. swell, right? Yeah, right. Uh, and B, it, it means that like they do this, and if it fails, it doesn't matter because the main because it wouldn't hurt the switch sales. Yeah, so, so it, it's kind of like a win win. Like we get a better machine, and Nintendo gets like a it, it, almost not necessarily experimental, but you know, uh, it, it just lets them. Uh, Target a different audience, I guess. Mm. And Red Dead Redemption fun. Two and Call of Duty <laughs> launching with the Switch Pro. The Switch Pro. I personally want to see extremely realistic horse testicle physics on my Switch Pro. <laughs> that's what I'm buying it for, nothing else. Oh, Metopia, where do you have that? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Damn, I've been playing the wrong game. No, um, I, uh, I could you imagine though if they hit three forty nine? 
I don't know, like part of, part of me feels like it's more likely than four than three ninety nine, but yeah, that's without really knowing what the heck it really is. What it is, yeah, yeah. 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 Like we know it's it's a more powerful thing. It has DLSS, and that's it. And it's an OLED screen. It's a bigger OLED screen. Yeah, OLED screen would be so nice. Good, good enough for me. Yeah. Um, okay. So, quick question I'm, before we talk about other E three stuff. Yeah. Breath of the Wild. They're gonna show it, obviously. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Does it get a Does it get a date for this year or next year? I'm gonna say I'm gonna be the person who says this year. I'm gonna say November. I think so too. Team 2021. I'm saying September, baby. September. I, I would love September. You know what? It's it's it's. I was kind of because you mentioned like you know oh they're not gonna announce the Switch Pro more than three months before it's out, and if it was intertwined with Breath of the Wild, and it's like no, well if that's a November game, that's not gonna be there. But that's like mm, maybe maybe the game just comes earlier than we think, and it is still like a Switch Pro game. It's just an early one. Yeah. Um, which I, I, I don't know. I mean, the the Diamond Pro remakes are their November games. November, right? yeah. But I I think they've had a couple like multi multi November switch months before. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't really know. It's it's kind of fuzzy in my in my memory. It's always no. like Pokemon and then at least like one <laughs> other thing, <laughs> at least. Right. I think I think I do think, I think Sword and Shield was October, right? Or was that November? Pokemon's been November for the last. Seven years now, they've just okay. been—they've had that November slot just. Okay, I, I think I, I think I'm thinking of uh, X and Y then, because I know that. So one well, so on Wii U and 3DS, Pokemon, like so 3DS Pokemon would release, and then a Wii U game would release the same day, like Smash Wii U and Origins. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But is it a different thing being on the same console? I guess because they haven't done that on Switch. Like, yeah. Pokemon does not launch on the same day as something else on the Switch. We've not seen that yet. I don't think they would do it on the same day anymore. Yeah. They know how powerful Pokemon no. is. Yeah, I, I think. I mean, I think same month, but not not the same day. Yeah, same month I could see, but same day probably not. Right? No, not <laughs> no. same day. Yeah, I, I there's that. there's another rumored game that some people are expecting to be E3. I think we should talk about it. Mm -hmm. Monkey PD. Yes, yeah. Donkey Kong. Do we do Donkey we think Kong made by 2D EP Donkey Kong Tokyo. is gonna be at? E3. I'm gonna say. I hope. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. I hope, but I'm gonna say yes. God, I want to see Donkey Kong so bad. Here's man. my problem. Okay, do you remember the last time every insider on Earth was saying gaming existed except for Emily? Yeah, I know. That's what Metroid Prime calls. Trilogy at the Game Awards. Star Fox Grand Prix. Everyone Grand was saying it except Emily. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. The only thing that gives me some hope. Uh -huh. uh, even a little bit of hope is that she hasn't said it doesn't exist, just that she hasn't. She hasn't heard, heard about it, right? right. But that's now, what she said about Metroid Prime Trilogy as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, it's still not a great sign. Um, I'm I'm going in. Exp I'm I hope. Yeah. I don't it's expect an optimistic thing. Here, let me yeah. let me. I, I know I came in being like, oh, I don't know, but here, let me let me spin in a positive way. Okay. Um, we know for a fact. There's no rumor. There's no leak. We know that Tokyo is hiring for a 2D game, right? Mm -hmm. yep. We know that Kyoto is hiring for a 2D game, which means if Kyoto is hiring for a 2D game, that's probably Mario, right? Yeah. So you can probably throw any expectation that Tokyo are the ones making 2D Mario. I don't think that's happening. But there's clearly the the same team that made New Super Mario Bros. U and Mario Maker 2, they are the ones hiring for a 2D game as well. They're making their own thing. They're making Mario, mm -hmm. you know? So mm -hmm. if you cross out Mario, what 2D game is worth Tokyo's time? What like an internal EPD game? What I be it's all the, I, like to me Wario the only Land. answer is Donkey Kong. Yeah, it's right. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong. It's absolutely Donkey Kong. Not to mention, you know, DK40. Just gonna yeah, yeah, that I mean, out there. Oh, that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, so Zelda and Metroid anniversary stuff. Do we expect to see that? Oh yeah, like the know. like a Wind Waker Twilight Princess pack. Yeah, that's. I think Wind Waker Twilight Princess pack is happening, but yeah, I don't know if it, well, if Wild Two is this year, I don't know if that's also this year. I guess. Yeah. Like, it could be like early next year, like 3D World was. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. I, I I do actually I do think this that either will be like the official start actually of uh, the Zelda anniversary. Yeah. Because I mean, thinking about it, it's like. I don't I don't remember if Mario Twenty Five was like at E three twenty ten. It, it wasn't actually. I, they did its own event. That was its own event. But then, like, Mario, when Mario Maker came out, it was like, Mario 30. Mario is turning 30. Zelda 25 was, like, at E3. I was a that was deal. definitely yep. at E3. I mean, and even Mario 35 was supposed to be at E3. Right? Yeah, that was supposed to be much earlier uh, until... Yeah. I mean, as far as we know. Yeah. Uh, but then 
COVID happened. Yeah. Uh, and everything got thrown out the window, and then they were like, hey, Mario 3D All-Stars comes out in a week. Have fun. And <laughs> Mario 35. And if there's any series that Nintendo will present out the ass at E3, it, it's going to be Zelda. Zelda is oh, just the yeah. crowd pleaser. Like... Zelda is like their their E3 game. That is the golden E3 franchise. Goose. You know, yeah. It, yeah. it is I a think... game that appeals to the E3 audience. Obviously, it's, it's just and they have a lot of them, right? It's just the, yeah. the, it, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do just wonder um, if Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, you know, are coming to the Switch. Do those get announced, or does that step too much on the Skyward Sword toes? I feel like they can talk about the 35th anniversary before they would announce. Like a pack like that, let Skyward Sword well, come out, be its own thing. Um, there's no saying that the anniversary has to all all the announcements have to happen in one go, right? right? Right, and I yeah, I don't think they would. I do think they would officiate it. It'd be like Zelda 35. We've got a bunch yeah. of great announcements all throughout the year. Here's yeah. Skyward Sword for like 30 seconds. Yeah, and then here's Breath of the Wild too. I yeah, if, I, if I can see them delaying that announcement, if they could, is it, if. Breath of the Wild 2 is not making it for 2021, and then I absolutely see the Wind Waker. Oh, then has. for sure. Yeah. Then, yeah. If Breath of the Wild is 2022, we will see Wind Waker Todd Princess. If it is 2021, I could see that getting pushed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Again, 3D World came out early this year. Yeah. Right? It was not mm -hmm. in the same calendar year as the rest of the Mario 35 stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wii U ports generally fill in that uh, cute calendar year, quarter one slot anyway yeah right mm -hmm. so so and it's still in the anniversary right yeah like you like uh, generally nintendo anniversaries don't end on the anniversary they end at the end of the fiscal year yeah right mm -hmm. um fire emblem 20 they did fire emblem 30 or whatever it was 35 i don't remember what it was that ended march 31st yeah recently right uh, yeah. Year of Luigi ended March 31st. Like, they just time it with the fiscal year. They always do. So the Zelda anniversary will go through next March. I guarantee you it, right? Yeah. So, so, on that note, yeah, do you think we can new... Early next year, and that'd be fine. It's, if Breath of the Wild 2 is this year, they could... Zelda uh, Twilight Princess of Wind Waker, easy filler for, for early next year. You mentioned um, Fire Emblem. Do you think we see a new Fire Emblem this year? At least announced? Three? Maybe? I mean... Maybe. Okay. There's, that's a huge series now. Like, that's a lot bigger yeah. than it used to be. Here's the thing. You may be thinking, Three, Three Houses just came out. But, Koei Tecmo made that, first of all. Right? People who worked on Fire Emblem Echoes four years ago have not been seen in the credits of a game since then. Like, a lot of people who worked on Echoes, Shadows of Lens. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's been four years. Like, the same amount of time as Sam's Returns. Right? I think it's fairly reasonable to, to think that those guys have been working on their own Fire Emblem, even though Three Houses was in development as well. I could very easily see the people who were doing Echoes make a remake of, say, Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth game in the series. Yeah. Right? Three right. Houses also wasn't, like, that recent. It was, like, over two years, wasn't it? Two now? years now, yeah. Yeah, it's been two years. Yeah, yeah I can see it. Yeah. It's so many st there's yeah. so many games that, like... It's tough because, like, there's so many games right now that are rumored and that are also, like, yeah, I can see it. You know, like... Yeah. Uh, it, there's so think... many, and it's not going to be all of them. Right? No. There's no way it's all of them, no. right? But... And yeah, on that note, it... Xenoblade. <laughs> <laughs> I can <Maybe>. see it. <laughs> I hope so. <sighs> yeah, that was Man, a 2017 game. They've had four years to work on it. To work yeah, on Xeno it. Xenoblade 3 would just be so exciting because, mm -hmm. I've, you know, now they're... I feel like when it comes to Xenoblade now, it's like every game is like a completely, not completely different, but, you know, aesthetic and, you know, One world, to X like to two idea. are very different games. I yeah. think that's fair. I think they're very, very yeah. different games, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the structure of 1 and 2 are obviously pretty close, right? Right. But, like, in terms of aesthetic, um, you know. Yeah. We're not going to talk about Xenoblade 2 aesthetics tonight, I hope. <laughs> but, you know, whatever happens... <laughs> With three, it's like oh, it's like a it's like a fresh start all over again. So, and I love Xenoblade. Yeah. Um, it'll happen. It's just you know I don't know. I I always have trouble like committing to a prediction because it's like I I very rarely get them right, and I hate getting my hopes up for something that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is you know I do think it'll be coming pretty soon. 
Uh, Let's just say yes on everything because we're bound to be right on some of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. R- Rhythm Heaven's back. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, it's like what? So, okay. Donkey Kong, I can see it. Kirby, I can see it. Uh, what was it? Okay, Tomodachi. Uh, Tomodachi, Kirby, yeah. I can see it. Uh, <laughs> there's so many that are like, I can see it. I don't see Tomodachi. I mean, I, I, I just mean. Like yeah. game. I just mean. I guess Kirby's not really. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm not either. saying. Well, I'm, I think, I'm not saying E3 yeah. game. I just mean, like, yeah, this is probably coming and we'll see gotcha. when it shows up. But like yeah, it has it's, it, it has been kind of weird, right? The Kirby's I mean not that Kirby's been absent, there's been those eShop games, but after Star Allies it's been nothing. Yeah. It's been a long break. It's like been... one of the longest breaks for a main for like between mainline entries. Like, you know, like there's a lot of people mm-hmm. and they're talking about like staff numbers. Obviously most of HAL did not work on Kirby Fighters or Clash or whatever. In fact yeah. we know that they were yeah. mostly outsourced. Yeah, Van right? Pool yeah. Yeah. handled mm-hmm. most of that. Van, yeah, Van Van Pool these days is just like the second Kirby developer. It's like yeah. Uh but so Hal has been toiling away on some sort of Kirby. Like there's data mined evidence towards three D Kirby. Right. Yeah, I, I I will say like if it's just like another just standard Kirby, it's like Kirby's cool. Um, I don't think I'd be like super pumped, but if it's something that's like truly different, because I I feel like you know the the recent Kirby games have all been good, great even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I don't know. I think they exhausted what they can do with that formula. Yeah, know? I think I think Star Allies was just kind of like, oh, it's Kirby again. I don't, I don't know, you know, like. And in a lot of ways, it was like a culmination of that kind of Kirby, right? Because like they 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 right. include, especially through the DLC, they just kind of included yeah. references and characters from every game in the series, right? Um, yeah. And it was like truly like after Star Allies, like I don't want another whole whole. I feel bad calling it because it, it, they're still good, like you said, right? But mm-hmm. I don't want more of the same for Kirby. I really don't. I want to see something different, and I think. With that data mine evidence, with how long it's taken, I feel like it's more likely than not that it's some sort of shakeup. Yeah. Yeah. E- even if it's still 2D, I think it'll be a big shakeup from what has traditionally, you know, what they've been doing. Yeah. Um, you know, would it be like an amazing mirror like Metroidvania Kirby again? Or something no. just totally off the wall? I don't know. I hope it's 3D. I remember playing, uh, I think it was Blowout Blast on the 3DS. Yeah. It was kind of like just the smallest, smallest taste of what a 3D Kirby could be like, and it was fun. Yeah. Um, definitely like a lot of room for expansion and mm-hmm. other yeah. ideas and, you know, kind of like real platforming level design. <laughs> yeah. A 3D that one... Kirby could be like a fun, like, like younger person character action game almost. Yeah, it would kind of fit along with Yoshi's Crafted World and that it's a... Mm-hmm. Uh, character action game that that younger <laughs> players could uh, get into. See, when you say character action, my brain goes to platinum. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, oh, yes. I'm, I want Kirby hey, Bayonetta. Bayonetta. That's what I'm thinking. Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Are we gonna see Bayonetta? Are we? It, marking, it, like, if Bayonetta is uh, if Bayonetta is anytime soon, then we will definitely see it at E3. Like, yeah, I, that's my I like E3 is it, Bayonetta is another one of those like. Game Awards E3. That's an E3 type of yeah. That's like an E3 game. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Bayonetta three and uh, Metroid Prime four both exist in the space of like I just don't expect them to ever come out. <laughs> like, I expect them. I expect them to come out, but it's like I've forgotten that they existed. I don't they even are... remember to bring them up. And like when they get reannounced, they'll basically be brand every new time game. you bring them up, they get, they get delayed by a week. <laughs> yeah. Like like in my brain. Bayonetta 3 is always two years away. You know, yeah. it's always like, for, since yeah. the announcement, I have thought it's two years away. And I still think it's two years away. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, it'll just, it'll come out when it's ready, whenever yeah. the heck that is. I mean, I hope that they just don't talk about it at all until they're like, oh, it's out. September. I mean, they clearly, yeah. I think that's what's clearly what's happening at this point, right? Like, they have not yeah. uttered the phrase. Fr- the only time that they have officially talked about Bayonetta 3 in any capacity in the last four years, besides Kamiya replying to being asked about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Was when they announced Astral Chain, and they're like, "We're not going to show Beta yet, but we have this other Platinum game. We think you might like that one." Um, mm-hmm. But that's that's the only time they've even said the word Bayonetta three since they announced it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, that'd be a good showcase for the Switch Pro, also. By the way, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's an enthusiast like a... game that would look very get... pretty. Like that's a pretty easy try and get like uh yeah like if you're looking to sell yeah. to enthusiasts there she is 
<laughs> yeah, get a get a locked sixty frames per second, maybe. Ooh. If we could be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we should probably head towards the end of our prediction um, segment. But if we just want to say like one last like one last hope for the show. Sure. Um, <sighs> hmm. I I always <laughs> like the little surprises, um, and I'm also very curious about the NSO rumors. I don't see that being an E3 thing personally, but if there were, if there's ever a surprise that I want to see at E3 that is probably not happening at all, but I still want it. It'll be two, one of two things. First is Rhythm Heaven. The second is Star <laughs> yeah. Fox. Uh, so, any, any, if, if that, if that is, those are my, that is, those are my hopes and dreams that that won't happen. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's. I want both of them. I do. Uh, <laughs> I would love. I guess my super dream that won't happen this year is WarioWare, and then my semi unlikely, but I would love to see another indie crossover with Nintendo characters, like a Cadence of Hyrule game by a different developer. That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, that'd be a fun little thing for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess mostly the like very reasonable request. Um, I think they should show off Metroid Prime Four coming out this year. <laughs> I was gonna say like maybe they'll mention Metroid Prime Four by name this year, <laughs> you just to be season, like, though, that's... like like legit. Like there's like a ten percent chance, right? Like maybe just maybe they tease it. We haven't even seen a cinematic trailer for that. We've seen like a like logo. twenty like give it a twenty twenty two date, right? Um, yeah. but just tease it. You know, like, show us it, a, show us a is, cinematic trailer, fine. If they genuinely believe that the game is going to come out next year, I guess there's no harm. Just like just a taste, just right, a tiny taste. taste. Like... And, and I think it would complement the other Metroid announcement really well. You know, it, yeah. It, if it's like... if it's like uh, other Metroid uh, teasers and trailers, uh, then Nintendo's E3 can end with a close up of Samus shooting us in the face. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like that's how those teasers yep. always go for Metroid. It's like, oh, power cannon in my face. <laughs> I just think of uh, the Metroid Prime trilogy menu, how the entire thing took place in her arm cannon. Oh, so cool. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like final prediction. Like obviously, like Rhythm Heaven and Warrior are like my two babies. Um, I don't. I don't know if like I don't know. I I have like this weird like kind of bar in my head because like Nintendo Directs are so prominent, and I kind of start to think of things and like what's the e3 announcement and what's the direct announcement and i feel like these days those games particularly would i mean probably be a direct thing depends yeah, on when they yeah. come out i don't know when did they announce uh they announced clubhouse games too at a direct right yeah, yeah that was mini. the uh yeah that was the mini direct from march of the last best year the best mini direct of all time yeah yeah that was a good one um i feel like as far as stuff goes that like maybe could actually be at a d3 it's like i don't know arms too Let's I would go love with that. that. Why? Arms two. Let's Why not? go. I actually have a real prediction thing that okay. I want. I guess. Um, What's up? I want to see a big update to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yes. Oh, I would love that yeah. expansion. Big pack. two point. Give it a two point oh, You know. Yeah. That uh, might be. I don't know if that's likely, but I could see that. Yeah, I don't know if it's likely, but possible. You know, that yeah. would get me back. That's the only thing that could get me back into that game at this point. I would love to see that. And um, I'm going to ask the question, because we're at the end. Um, Mario Kart 9? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, I mean, if I want ARMS 2, I don't really have a choice. Yeah. You know, <laughs> i got to pick one or the other. Yeah. I will um, I will do something ridiculous. I don't know what it is yet, but if Mario Kart 9 is, is announced, you can hold me to it. I, no, so, no. I will hold my head in shame in some way. Don't, don't worry. Don't, don't eat your shoe <laughs> or, you know... <laughs> Pee into a cup and drink it or whatever. I am so goddamn confident that Mario Kart Nine is not happening on the Switch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I used to think that, but I think Splatoon Three really kind of shook me a little bit. Not not to the point where I think, oh, Mario Kart Nine's guaranteed a lock. <laughs> but it's not a lock. But it's at a point now where there is part of me that's like, you know, I wouldn't be totally baffled 
if they if they made it at this point. But also, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still like selling better every year. So there's st- oh, like that hasn't Barbie's changed. Last year alone. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the only the like only that has like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is on on tr- I don't know. I, you know, I I go crazy with sales numbers because I, I I've given up on trying to like actually predict anything for this system. <laughs> yeah. I, I just assume everything is going to sell better than you can ever expect. It's going to double Mario Kart Wii sales. Let's just go with it, right? Why not? Yeah. Cuz the Switch is going to last another 4 or 5 years, sure. Yeah, right? And it's just if it's just going to keep if it's going to keep selling better every year, heck, it, maybe it'll outsell Wii Sports. Let's just <laughs> go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um and I, I don't know. If way, you have a game okay. Yeah, like if you have a game that's going to sell that much, it's like why, especially a game that you didn't even have to develop from scratch, it's just like, I, I, I would just, you know, like I love it, I love Mario Kart, I would like a new one, I definitely wouldn't say no, but I think I'm still kind of in this position of like, I just hope the team just keeps doing new things, whether yeah. it be like a huge like ARMS 2, they go back to Nintendogs, or they do something, like another brand new IP. I kind of just want them to just keep experimenting Same. and not just make, eh, here's another Mario Kart. Plus, we got Tor. Tor still gets updated all the time. I don't know if anybody plays it. I know you play it. Uh, uh, Gartooth plays it. Yep. That's about it. I don't know who else plays Mario Kart yeah, Tor. Yeah, I, I um, used to play Tor. I think the only way 9 possibly makes sense, and I don't think it's coming, would be to just have like a, like a second Switch launch like for the Switch Pro. Like, yeah. I think it, a, right. That's the only and, and, way it makes sense to me, but I don't think it makes sense. Right. And it's like it's the kind of like the Splatoon three thing, right? Where yep. it's like if if split if the Switch Pro is kind of positioned as like half the revision, half a kind of sort of successor, where they're like kind of refreshing the library again. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. And yeah, doing but, like you know Breath of the Wild two and Splatoon three and you know maybe Xenoblade three or whatever, then it, it kind of makes sense in that context. But mm-hmm. it's still kind of like. But Damn, like, you know. <laughs> if, if, we're, if we're if we're repeating 2017 games, I, I'll go back to Arms. Yeah, I would love. Personally. I would love. Yeah, I would love Arms too very much. Please. Uh, Arms two know. needs its melee equivalent. Absolutely. <laughs> Please. Potential's there. I'm begging you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh. thank you, Drago, for coming on, and thank Absolutely. you, everybody else. Um, and I just wanted to to wrap this up. You can find us on YouTube at Nintendo Era Discord. You can find us on all of your favorite podcast platforms. We also have a blog, NintendoEra.wordpress.com. Uh, check us out. Ask us some questions in the Discord. If you're not on the Discord, check out the WordPress. We got a link there. And yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Peace.